Good morning to you and happy Sabbath. God is so good to us, giving us beautiful Sabbath days like today. You know there are a lot of Jesus' promises in the Bible, one of them being the reason for our great hope. <clears throat> Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. That's in John 14, 1 through 3. But you can only have faith and read most of the promises. But last Thursday, Bill and I, and I'm sure other people, saw, actually saw, one of God's promises. Bill came in where I was. He was all excited. He said, come with me, hurry, I want to show you something. I couldn't imagine what was happening. When we got outside, he points up to the sky, and there was the most beautiful rainbow I have ever seen, and I've seen a lot of rainbows. You know what a rainbow is, don't you, up in the sky? <clears throat> it was the largest arc, and it was almost right over our house. The sun was setting in the west, so the sky was golden, and it was still raining a little bit. You can't put into words something so beautiful. Like I said, he blesses this old sinful world with such beauty, and yet I hath not seen the beauty yet in store for us. Do you know what the promise was? The rainbow, what it meant? I'm going to read the story. Many years passed, and soon there were lots of people in the world but they were becoming more and more wicked, and this made God very sad. He made up his mind to send a terrible flood to destroy everything that he had created. But on earth there was one good man who loved and obeyed God. His name was Noah, and he had three sons. God told Noah to build an enormous boat, an ark, so that he and his family might be saved along with two of every living creature. People laughed at Noah for building a boat in the middle of the land, but he ignored them, for he trusted God. When the ark was finished, Noah loaded it with the food for his family and the animals, and then God sent the animals to the ark two by two. Can you imagine what that must have looked like? one male and one female of every kind of animal and bird that lived upon the earth or flew in the skies. When they were all safely in, it began to rain. And how it rained. Water poured down from the skies and covered all the land. Every living creature was drowned. All the towns and cities were washed away but the ark and its precious cargo floated free on a world of water. For 40 days and 40 nights it rained. Then at last it stopped. After a while the floodwaters began to go down. Noah sent a dove, and when it returned with an olive leaf in its beak, Noah knew that the flood was over, for the trees were beginning to grow again. Then it was time for Noah and the animals to leave the ark. Noah was filled with gratitude, and God promised him that he would never send such a dreadful flood again. He put a beautiful rainbow in the sky to remind him of this promise. I think that's all. That's all. So now when you see the rainbow, you know that it's God's promise that he'll never destroy the world with a flood again. <clears throat>